So when you do anything with dandelions with the petals, you don't want all this green on the bottom. You just want the yellow. And the trick to get it out is you pinch squeeze them and basically most of the petals will separate from all the green at the back of the flower or if there's a little bit left you can easily just pick that out throw this into your bucket of petals so again just get it on your finger and then just pinch squeeze with your thumb and all the petals basically roll out with very little of the green attached so a lot of the bitterness is in the greens if you're doing a jelly or you're adding it to uh, sometimes I'll put it in like a banana bread recipe or making wine you you don't want the bitterness and so it's really important just to get the petals try it on another one you can practice doing this with both hands because after you've done a few hundred of them you get a really sore finger and thumb so just a, a squeeze and see how that all separates off. So this dandelion wine batch has been sitting just open to the uh, room with a cloth over top for almost a week. It sat for a few days without any yeast added, just the blueberries. And then I went to a wine store and bought a packet of champagne yeast. So it's been sitting with the champagne yeast in it for um, maybe three or four days. And what I'm doing now is just straining out the dandelion flowers and the blueberries. I'm saving them because I once upon a time discovered that you could substitute all this mush into a carrot cake recipe instead of the carrots and it's really really tasty so maybe I'll do a little video add-on of that later I was thinking I might also scoop some into a recipe for cornbread Let's see how that works out And then what I'll do is just put that in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. I'm going to put a strainer in the top of my carboy, which is bleached out. I'm going to use my strainer on the funnel just to catch the last of that as I pour it through. So here it is, it's all been strained in and now it's gonna do its secondary fermentation. This is just a little bit of scum from the uh, choke cherry wine I made last a few months ago. I did bleach this container to make sure that it was sterile so we just put an airlock on there and check back in in a day or two and we should see as it's using up the sugar and solution we should see air bubbles rising and escaping through the water lock. not really a purist about corks when I'm bottling so these are my favorite bottles to use the ones with the swing top closure because um, you can use them over and over and over and over and these little rubber gaskets you can buy replacement packs of those and just replace them as they dry out over time or become too dirty to clean so I'm in a little bit of a short supply of these so I will actually use some recycled wine bottles I'm going to borrow some uh, 
I'm going to buy some corks and I have a corker that I can borrow. Okay. Dandelion wine. No, you didn't because you did Very sweet.